Okay, now uh, this is going to be a tutorial basically on how to just look at the tool as far as how to, like what the tablet looks like. Notice that it's on the back of the uh, POS 18. The POS 180's tablet is a separate unit, but uh, if you use them, if you've used them both, you'll, you're, you'll know this, but uh, they're basically the exact same despite some uh, slight differences. But if you know how to use the 180, you'll be a pro at using the 18. Uh, but obviously because this eight, the 18 does not follow a prism, the way you use the tool is going to be a little bit different because you're going to have to be standing behind it to do everything rather than walking around with your prism pole or walking out in the field. So, let me just show you what this looks like. When you open the tablet, you can go to jobs, right? Just like normal, I'm going to open a job. I'll just open my demo file. I can go to info, right? And I can see my graph of what it looks like. Let me just zoom out here for you. All right, I can zoom out. But notice uh, you have a smaller screen. So over here on the right side, you don't really have a lot of options to edit the file. You can create some lines, create some arcs, but uh, definitely on the other tablet, you have a lot more options. But again, you're not really using this tool to create or edit a CAD file per se. Uh, usually what you have this tool for is you upload a CAD file that you already have, upload the points that are supposed to be there, set the station up, and do an as-built. Um, very rarely are you laying out, but it's definitely an option. But anyway, you go ahead and go into your graph. I, you can see where all your points are laid out. If I wanted to find specific points, instead of pressing graph, I can actually press points. And I can actually go in here and select a specific point and highlight it, whatever I want to do. I believe I can even design a point, press new, and uh, add the coordinates if I need to put a point in there that I don't have. Very simple, um, very simple to get here uh, and look at different points and just make sure everything looks good, looks right. Um, in graph view, it, you know, you can just verify that everything's where it's supposed to be. If I long press my line button to see if I, you can see other options that are available to you. I can delete, that's a, that's a delete function. And then over here, if I long press this, that's just your arc function. Uh, you know, you know, not much you can do with it as far as editing your CAD file, but you can turn layers on and off. You can change some settings. So, again, it's a very simplistic way of looking at your CAD file, making sure your points are where they're supposed to be, and then going and doing an as-built. Or, if you need to do a layout, most likely it's going to be a very simple layout. And again, how I got there, I went to jobs, made sure I was on my job. Then I went to info, and that's where you get to your graph view. You can check your points, <clears throat> yada, yada. All right, so also on here, you have the config button, and this is what you'd use to basically change some settings. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but under settings, you can basically set, in America, usually the coordinate system is NH, meaning Northern Eastern Height. And you can also set <clears throat> the distance units you want it to look like, how the angle units you want it to look like, and then even go all down into some very specific settings and obviously if you speak English like I do put that language on at English and usually if you like me that likes to hear a nice beep to make you feel good about what you're doing turn that on um, you can play around with these settings to learn what they do but again pretty self-explanatory all right <clears throat> now if you wanted to add points let's say you put a cat file in here and you don't have points in yet what you do is uh, after you went to jobs and created a new file and put your DXF file in the, in the tool. And again, this uh, I don't think I mentioned this actually, that this tool, it's better if you're using a DXF. I haven't had success at loading a DWG file on here. Just save it as a DXF. It's not that hard. Just when you save your, get a CAD file, just ask your architect or when you're on your computer, just save it as a DXF and you'll be able to upload it. <clears throat> Maybe some of you will be successful loading the DWG but again, the difference is, uh, there's no difference at all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to file. So let's say you upload your, your, your CAD file and it's in there and it looks good. It looks like that. What you do is you go home, you go to file, and you go to import. You press import. And on here, you're gonna notice that it's gonna ask you some things. You said, okay, where do you wanna import your points to? Obviously, it's gonna be to my demo file. The file unit points are actually gonna be in feet for me. Uh, and it's gonna be a CSV file. And then I just go ahead, press from file, and if I put a USB drive in there, it would find it. I'd select them, and I'd import them. Um, as you saw already on here, I already had my points all nice and imported, and they're all around the file. 
So I'm gonna go back home. Now, let me go very quickly over these applications. Uh, you have the layout tab. If you wanted to actually lay out a job site, you press layout, set your station. And um, as you walked around, you could measure over and over and over again to make sure you get onto your point. As built function is what you'd use to basically uh, go out there and walk right over to your points. Usually it's already embeds or anchor points, uh, places that are already laid out and you wanna just check to see how they line up with what the CAD file is really telling you. This is what the tool is most commonly used for. Measure and record allows you to go out on your job site and walk over to a point that you need to save in the CAD file, but you don't know the coordinates for it, but you know where it is. You just go stand over the point, press measure and record, and it saves it right there on the file for you. Vertical layout, um, if you had a CAD file that was a vertical laid out file, you could use vertical layout. I uh, honestly I haven't seen people use that ever. Um, but I can see some people using that if they have a vertical file. Reference line is a popular tool, uh, but again, it's a lot easier to use for reference line on the POS 180 because it's robotic. But you can set a line and uh, you can have the tool help you get to a certain point off that line. Now, if I go to the further applications, the Kogo function is simply going into your file and uh, checking um, information. You can check areas of uh, certain points you can select a bunch of points and it'll tell you your uh, area uh, from point A to point B. Uh, you could also set some some offsets on here from certain points. I'd have to select a point and I could make an offset. Um, find intersections. Uh, not a lot of people use Kogo with this tool because most of the time um, all the Kogo functions and all the information you need to know are done on the computer before you upload the file in the first place. Uh, but that's the Kogo function. Uh, missing line function allows you to go out there and just measure point A to point B. It's uh, basically a tape measure, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Area allows you to go out and measure a perimeter of an area, and it will live give it will give you an uh, it'll keep updating the the area that you're looking at and the square footage or the square whatever you, whatever units you're using of that area. Theodolite allows you to use the tool to find an angle. You set your tool looking in a certain direction and it'll and you set that it is let's say a zero degree angle you turn the tool and it will uh, it will tell you the live angle reading as you turn the tool um, Hort remote height allows you to measure a point out in the distance and as you move the tool up and look upward it'll tell you if the the point that you're pointing at if it's plumb with the point that you pointed at it'll tell you how high you were going if you're looking directly at it um, a vertical alignment allows you to look at a post, measure it, or a steel beam, measure it from the bottom to the top, and it'll tell you whether or not it's vertically aligned, left and right, up and down, backwards and forwards. Uh, line work simply is a way to go into your CAD file and edit the file if you did if you wanted to get it through this this way. You can also get it through the graph view, um, and then also you have Profus Connect if you have the software.